एक्सरसाइज थर्टीन इन द जजमेंट इट इज सीन दैट द सुप्रीम कोर्ट हेल्ड इट इज द डिस्ट्रीब्यूटर हू कैन रेफर द मैटर टू अर्बिट्रेशन एंड नॉट द रिस्पोंडंट एंड एज सच सेट असाइड द जजमेंट ऑफ द हाई कोर्ट अपॉइंटिंग द अर्बिट्रेटर द इशू बिफोर द सुप्रीम कोर्ट वॉज नॉट विथ रिगार्ड टू वेदर देर इज एनी अर्बिट्रेशन क्लॉज बट हू कैन इन्वोक द अर्बिट्रेशन क्लॉज दिस जजमेंट इज नॉट एप्लीकेबल टू द फैक्ट्स ऑफ दिस केस हैविंग कंसिडर्ड द जजमेंट्स रेफर टू बाय द लर्नेड काउंसिल फॉर द पार्टीज दिस कोर्ट इज ऑफ द व्यू दैट द इशू इन द केस इन हैंड इज स्क्वेरली कवर्ड बाय द जजमेंट ऑफ द सुप्रीम कोर्ट इन द केस ऑफ इंडिया टेल टेक्निकल सर्विसेस प्राइवेट लिमिटेड एज फॉलोड इन एवरेस्ट वन एलिवेटर गाइड रेल मैन्युफैक्चर कंपनी लिमिटेड इन एज मच एज फ्रॉम द पेरुजल ऑफ आर्टिकल ट्वेंटी एट ऑफ द एग्रीमेंट इट इज क्लियर दैट द पिटिशनर हैज एन ऑप्शन आइदर टू गेट द डिस्प्यूट्स और क्लेम्स और डिफरेंसेस एडजुडिकेटेड थ्रू द जुरिस्डिक्शन ऑफ द कोर्ट or by way of arbitration in accordance with the provisions of the act of 1996 the fact that the petitioner has filed this petition it must be held that it intends to get the disputes settled through the process of arbitration it is also not the case of the respondent either him or the petitioner had earlier invoked the jurisdiction of a civil court i also find from sub clause 2 of article 28 the intention of the parties is to refer the disputes to the arbitrator with regard to any dispute concerning accounting matters and one of the claims of the petitioner is non payment of management fees which is an accounting issue the objection raised by the learned counsel on the maintainability of the petition is liable to be rejected para the next issue which arises for consideration is whether the respondent has terminated the agreement during the lock in period the answer this issue it is necessary to determine from which date the lock in period has started or kicked in according to the learned counsel article 26 of the agreement prescribes the term of agreement to be initially for 15 years starting from the opening date renewable for another 10 years with the first 5 years of the said term to be mandatory lock in period of 5 years which would thus commensurate with the starting of the term of 15 years para so according to him the opening date being of july 2017 the mandatory 5 years lock in period had started from july 2017 in effect the argued that the effective date has not been defined in the definition clauses under schedule 1 exercise 14 may i say a word here about the population of india a great deal has been said and written about our tremendous population and how it overwhelms us and how we cannot solve any problem till the indian population is checked or decimated <clears throat> well i have no desire for the population of india to go on increasing i am all in favor of the population being checked but i think there is a great misapprehension 
when so much stress is laid on this aspect i entirely disagree with that i think in india is an underpopulated country and i say this not because i want it to be much more populated it is underpopulated because i want it to be much more populated it is underpopulated because large tracts of india are still unpopulated it is true that if you go to the gangetic plain it is thickly populated parts of india are thickly populated but many parts are not populated at all a delegate to this conference told me last night that coming from karachi to delhi madras and then to utkamand he was amazed to see the scarcity of population of course he was travelling by plane nevertheless the whole countryside appeared to him to be sparsely populated and after all it is possible to judge whether the country is heavily populated or not that is a very correct impression because large tracts are not populated para we are over populated if you like because our productive capacity is low if we increase our production agricultural and other and if the population is put to work for production then we are not over populated we have these big river valley schemes which in association irrigating land preventing floods soil erosion and malaria will produce a very great deal of hydroelectric power and at the same time we will have industrial development if you look at the map of india you will see the noble range of the himalayas from the north to the northeast i do not think there is any part of the world similar in area which has so much concentrated power latent potential power if only it can be tapped and used well we intend tapping and using it but my point is that not only india but the whole of this asian region is full of vast resources human and material and the question before us is how to hold them together and produce results